Hey, Grip Edge Tools back with you again. I've got a really neat demonstration set up to show you just how effective RPT, or rounding prevention technology, can be. Let me tell you a little bit about the demonstration we have today. On social media, I see comments all the time like, how well does your tool work on red Loctite? And also, how well does the tool work on softer fasteners like aluminum? Well, today we're gonna have a look at both of those questions. In front of me, I have an electrical aluminum block. And in that block, there are two 3 16th hex head fasteners. As you can see, I've red Loctited both of those in and they've had overnight to cure. They should be good and tight. We're gonna use both of our tools, the standard conventional on one side and the RPT on the other. Let's see which one does a better job. Here are our tools, we'll set those right there. We'll take the block and we'll go ahead and drop the block into the vise. Now I'm gonna be using a torque wrench to measure how much torque it takes to crack these loose. I'm interested to find out. These should be pretty tight. So we're gonna go ahead and take our torque wrench. I've set it to 70 foot pounds. I have no idea if that's how much it's gonna to take to get this done, but I figure it shouldn't take more than that, but it'll register it if it does. So let's go ahead and try the standard conventional one first. We're in, and in the loosening position, let's give it a try. See where we are. I am already at 15 foot pounds, 17. It actually rounded that aluminum lug out. I'll go ahead and go back the other way. I'm free spinning. So at about 17 foot pounds, it rounded that out. Let's go ahead and pull that out of the vise and just have a good look at that. Can we see that, how that rounded that out real good? Well, I gotta be honest with you. I would have thought it would have taken more than 17 foot pounds to round out that screw. But the aluminum's pretty soft, so I guess it is what it is. Let's go ahead and drop this back down into the vise and we'll grab the RPT and we'll see how the RPT does. Now I've reset this torque wrench to 30 foot pounds, obviously 70, there's no need for that if it's gonna strip out at 17. So let's see what we can get done with the RPT. All right, I'm at 10 foot pounds, 15. We're at 17 where the other one's stripped out. And it looks like it's actually gripped it and it's getting it out of there. Once I get this out, we'll see what foot pounds we end up with. All right, she's out. And look at that, 26.4 foot pounds to get that out and look how this bit has just locked in tight. I'm gonna have to use the vise to remove the tool from this bit. Now this is super soft, so let's just look and see what we got here. We'll back it off and you can see down in that cavity how our tool actually made its indentation into that soft metal. Now, while you have a look at that, I want to explain to you that the RPT pulls that pressure inward, which you can clearly see by the bite print of this bolt. It doesn't push to the outside corners like a conventional hex. That's why you can get so much torque on a good fastener with no damage. You can see the indentation of that tool, how it bit in, and you can see the rotation and the sweep as it pulls that pressure inward. Remember guys, you can put up to 50% more torque on an undamaged fastener with no damage whatsoever, and up to 400% more torque on a damaged compromised fastener than a standard conventional hex tool will allow. That's our demonstration for today, RPT, Rounding Prevention Technology from Grip Edge Tools. Make sure to click the link below to get your set today.